Greetings, everybody. This is my book review of The White Donkey by Maximilian Oriarte. You may be familiar with the Terminal Lance comics, and you may be familiar with these two characters. However, the two are very different. This is a, a story of these two, and it's not related to the comics. So this book is relatable to anybody who has served in any military. Civilians can get a glimpse into the military as well. There can be a bit of a disconnect in communication, understanding. So um, whether you're in the military, you're a veteran, or you haven't served, Either way, you, know, you can still benefit from reading this book. Many books detail missions, combat, etc. For example, Operation Anaconda it goes over a lot of mission planning, the terrain, and so on. Uh, another book, Outlaw Platoon, is the, is the experience of an officer in Afghanistan. It's very heavy in, in combat and so on. This book is quite different. It's a fiction book, uh, covering the experiences of you know guys who enlisted later, didn't see as much combat, and these the experience of a young man, Abe on the right, and his friend Garcia, the guy with the mustache. It starts with training with his unit on leave at home to deployment to Iraq and back home again. And this book can help to bridge the gap in communication between civilians and military. You see Abe's troubles trying to uh, communicate, um, trying to overcome some of the issues that, that he saw but he can't really vocalize, can't, can't put into words. Uh, some other issues that are covered, you know, people treating you like a hero when you're brand new, we haven't done anything, uh, arguing with your parent about enlisting, uh, it covers the experience of being the new guy, interacting with leaders who are very condescending, you know, calling you an effing boot left and right, uh, the fine line of formal informal interaction with superiors, uh, and breaking cultural norms, kind of messing up here and there because because you're new, um, and Abe tends to vocalize his criticisms. Uh, like the rain in the field, uh, incompetence of an officer, or the boredom of deployment. And Garcia is more an acceptance of their situation. The Marine Corps isn't that bad. You should appreciate what he has. Um, so you have see this contrast between these two characters, which uh, uh, Max really cleverly uh, wrote out. And the artwork is excellent. Um, you can see, yeah, this is a work of fiction, by the way. So you can see here in my Kindle uh, version, the artwork is pretty great, and you can pretty easily zoom in with this Kindle version. I recommend that you download the program and don't use an app like uh, the Chrome uh, Kindle app because it's really hard to zoom. Um, and if you're you know totally zoomed out like this, you're kind of straining your eyes to to read it if you have a smaller screen. Uh, but if you could plug it into a computer or something, I'm sure that'd be a a really great way of reading it, blow it up. Uh, I'm mean, sorry, plug it into like a, uh, a TV stream. Uh, so I read it in about two hours, I read it straight through. There's a lot of swearing, it's definitely not for kids. Um, as you can see here, a, a couple of examples, you have some swearing here on the left, more swearing on the right. And that's really the reality of people, you know, in, in combat arms in the military, like every other word is a swear word, you could, you'd probably... So, uh, here's an example of him using uh, his, you know, his name. Roger that corporal, you know, overly formal. And he's like, stop using rank with me. I have a name. I don't care about any of that. Uh, whereas others are very, you know, that are calling by my rank. And you'll, you'll see, you see that as you read along. Uh, when you're new, you know, it can be kind of hard to to, to understand that line. That it's a very fine line. And this uh, right here, you can actually get for free. Uh, a free sample if you go on the Amazon uh, Kindle version uh, on Amazon.com you can click it here for a free sample it should be somewhere in there and you can see if you if this is the version that you want or if you want to buy a uh, hard copy personally I like this version okay so please check out this book uh, I highly recommend it and check out my discussion video after you read it which will contain some spoilers. Thank you for watching.